Hey, all right, there's that uh, Where's It Wednesday theme from George Wood. Boy, tough question sent in by Marcelo today. Actually, I thought it was a tough question. Marcelo says, hey, someone sends me this chart, and when I try and recreate this chart, I have to go through all of these steps, and we could actually spend a week talking about how all of this stuff manages to uh, create this chart. Marcelo's question is, how can I create that chart really quickly? Tell you what, I don't want to figure out how the person created the chart. We have the chart. In Excel 2003, here's what you're going to do. You're going to select the chart. Go to Chart, Chart Type. All right, this looks like the first step of the wizard, right? But we're going to click the second one, Custom Types. And then, at the bottom, we're going to click User Defined. And then, finally, we get something called Add. I'm going to add a new chart called the Marcello Type. Click OK. Click OK. And that saves the chart to the Excel User Gallery. Now, let's just create a different data set here. I'm going to put in the number one. Grab the control handle and drag, or grab the fill handle, drag with control. Put in 16 numbers, 14 numbers. We have yes, we have no. Uh, yes is going to be equal rand between 1, 99 divided by 100. No is equal 1 minus that number. Format both of those as percentages. And send that down. OK, let's convert those to values, see how it works. So we select our data set, still has yes and no, but it has more data. We go back into Insert Chart, and the first step of the wizard, we do Custom Types, we do User Defined, come down here and find the name that we have, Marcelo, and click Finish, and look at that. All of the cool formatting from the original chart appears here in the new chart. All right. Well, that's how we did it in Excel 2003. Let's see if we can figure out where that equivalent stuff is in Excel 2007. We have a chart. Again, I'm going to choose the chart, and now we get Chart Tools Design, and I want to say that I want to save this as a template. So we're going to save it as Marcelo 2, click Save, and then later on, if we want to create a new chart that looks like this chart here, let's just add a few new points here, 15% and 75%. All right, so we choose our data, and we're going to come back into Insert. I want to choose All Types, choose Templates, and you see it's very annoying that they show these templates in alphabetical order with no labels whatsoever. So you have to come in and hover to see the tooltip. There it was, Marcella 2. Click OK, and it gives us a very similar chart to the first chart. So sometimes you have a coworker who created a really nice chart. You say, wow, how did they do that? Well, you know what? You really don't need to figure out how they did it. Just save it as a template or as a user defined type in the old Excel, and you'll be able to recreate those charts uh, without going through all of the formatting. Well, there you have it. Thanks for stopping by. We'll see you next time for another netcast from Mr. Excel. Thanks for stopping by. We'll see you next time for another netcast from Mr. Excel.